ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ एट ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन इम्बाइव दिस नॉलेज हेयर एंड ऑल्सो डेफिनेटली इनेबल अदर्स टू इम्बाइव इट इन ऑर्डर टू पास यू हैव टू बिकम लाइक द मदर एंड फादर टेल अदर्स वट एवर यू हेयर हेयर question which pure desire that arises in some children is also a sign of good effort answer if children have the pure desire to follow the mother and father and become seated on their heart throne that is a sign of good courage those who say baba i will pass the examination fully speak with hope for that you too surely have to make that much fast effort song our pilgrimage is unique om shanti all here are sinful souls only in heaven are there pure and charitable souls this is a world of sinful souls here there are sinful souls like azamil whereas that is a world of the deities of heaven pure and charitable souls the praise of each is separate all of those who are brahmins send baba their foot biographies of how many sins they have committed in this birth baba has everyone's biography you children know that you have to listen to the things here and then tell others about them very many are needed to tell others until you become someone who relates this knowledge to others you cannot pass in other spiritual gatherings they are not bound to listen and then relate it to others here you have to imbibe this knowledge and then inspire others to imbibe it you have to create followers it isn't that only one pandit would tell you a story here each and every one has to become like the mother and father only when you relate this knowledge to others will you be able to pass and be seated in the father's heart everything of this knowledge is explained to you there everyone would say god sri krishna speaks here it is said the ocean of knowledge the purifier the bestower of the knowledge of the gita god seva speaks neither radhe and krishna nor lakshmi or narayan can be called a god or goddesses that isn't the law however god gave them a status and so he would surely make them into a god and goddesses which is why they are given those names you are now making effort to be threaded in the rosary of victory the rosary is created is it not there is rudra at the beginning there is the rosary of rudraksh beads the rosary of god is being created here you say our pilgrimage is unique those people stumble about so much on pilgrimage everything yours is unique your intellect's yoga is with se baba you have to become a garland around the neck of rudra people don't understand the significance of the rosary at the beginning is se baba the tessel and then there is the dual bead jagadamba and jagat pita and then their creation of 108 baba has seen the very long rosary they have and now everyone pulls its beads while chanting the name rama rama they don't have any aim they turn the beads of the rosary of rudra and also chant the name of rama all of that belongs to the path of devotion that is still better than doing other things they wouldn't be committing sin during that time those are ways to be saved from committing sin here there is no question of turning the beads of a rosary you yourselves have to become beads of the rosary 
सो आवर प्लेगरी मेज इज यूनिक वी आर अन एडल्टरेटेड ट्रेवलर्स गोइंग टू आवर से बाबाज होम ऑल आवर सेंस ऑफ मैनी बर्ड्स आर बींग बंट अवे विद योगा इवन इफ सम वन वर टू रिमेंबर श्री कृष्णा डे एंड नाइट हिज सेंस कुड नॉट बी अब्जॉल्व वेन दे चैन द नेम ऑफ रामा दे डोंट कमिट सिन एट दैट टाइम देन आफ्टर वर्ड्स दे बिगिन टू कमिट सिन इट इज एंड डेट देयर सिंस आर कट अवे और डेट देयर लाइफ स्पांस इंक्रीजेस इंक्रीज हियर विद द पावर ऑफ योगा द सेंस ऑफ यू चिल्ड्रन आर बंट अवे एंड योर लाइफ स्पांस इंक्रीज योर लाइफ बिकम इम्पेरिसेबल फॉर बर्थ आफ्टर बर्थ टू चेंज फ्रॉम अ ह्यूमन बींग इन टू अ डेटी इज सेट टू बी मेकिंग योर लाइफ देर इज सो मच प्रेज ऑफ द डेटीज पीपल कॉल देम सेल्फ डिग्रेडेड सिनर्स एंड सो एवरी वन वुड श्योरली बी लाइक दैट दे सिंक आई एम विदाउट वर्च्यू आई हैव नो वर्च्यूज हैव मर्सी ऑन मी दे प्रेज गॉड इन दिस वे ही मेक्स यू फुल ऑफ ऑल वर्च्यूज द सेम एज श्री कृष्णा यू आर नाउ बिकमिंग डैट देर इज नो प्रेज हायर दैन दिस देर इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड निर्गुण बालक ब्रैकेट्स चिल्ड्रन विदाउट वर्च्यू दे ऑल्सो डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हु इज कॉल्ड निर्गुण ब्रैकेट्स विदाउट वर्च्यूज यू चिल्ड्रन नो डेट इट इज श्री कृष्णा एंड लक्ष्मी एंड नारायण हु आर प्रेज एज फुल ऑफ ऑल वर्च्यूज यू आर नाउ वंस अगेन बिकमिंग डैट देर इज एंड एनी अदर गैदरिंग वेयर दे वुड से दिस Here the father asks you if you will marry Lakshmi and Narayan or Rama and Sita you children are not senseless you instantly reply baba we will pass the examination fully you are speaking with hope however it is not that everyone will become the same at least you so courage You say, Mama and Baba are say Baba's specially beloved children. We will follow them fully and be seated on their throne. This pure desire is good. In that case, you also have to make that much effort. The effort made at this time will become the effort of every cycle. This will be a guarantee. from the effort someone makes at this time you can tell that he did the same in the previous cycle and that same effort will continue for cycle after cycle when the examination time comes you can tell to what extent you will pass a teacher would also instantly know this is the gita part sala to change from an ordinary man into narayan they would never say in other gita pachsalas that they went there to become narayan from an ordinary man nor would the teacher there say that he will make them into narayan from an ordinary human being first of all the teacher would have to have the intoxication that he will become narayan from an ordinary man there are many who give lectures lecturers on the gita lectures on the gita but they would never say that they are studying with se baba they study with human beings you know that the highest on high is the supreme father the supreme soul seva who is the knowledgeful creator of heaven he alone comes and makes impure ones pure Guru Nanak too sang his praise remember the lord and you will receive happiness you now know that that one is the highest on high the true lord he himself says remember me your father i am telling you the true story of immortality and the story of the third eye therefore this is the knowledge of receiving a third eye and of becoming narayan from an ordinary man o parvatis i the lord of immortality am telling you the story of immortality 
Shiv Baba is the highest on high. Then there are Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar and then Lakshmi and Narayan in heaven. Then the Moon Dynasty clan. They continue to come down number wise in this way. Time also goes through the stages of Sato, Rajo and Tamo. No one knows these things. Baba is telling you many deep things. There is an imperishable part in each soul. There is a part recorded for each birth. It is never destroyed. The father says my part is mine. When you reside in the land of happiness, I reside in the land of silence. You have happiness and sorrow in your fortune. I have also explained to you how many births you take in happiness and how many births in sorrow. I am your altruistic father and I make all of you into the masters of happen. If I too were to become impure, then who would make you pure? Who would listen to everyone's call? Who would be called the purifier? This father explains that none of the scholars of the Gita are able to explain that like this. They explain the meaning of the three worlds in many different ways. People say that you can find the way to meet God through the Vedas and the scriptures. The father says all of those scriptures are for the path of devotion. The scriptures are not for those on the path of this knowledge. I am the ocean of knowledge who narrates this knowledge. Everything else is the paraphernalia of the path of devotion. I myself come and grant everyone salvation with this knowledge. Those people think that a bubble emerges from the water and then merges into it again. However, there is no question of merging. Souls are immortal. They are never burnt, cut or reduced. The father explains of all of these things. You children should have happiness from the top of your heads to the tip of your toes that you are becoming the masters of the world through the power of yoga. This happiness is also number wise. It cannot be constant or the same for everyone. Although it is the same examination, at least all should be able to pass. A kingdom is being established and so he gives you a plan for that. There will be this many thorns in the sun dynasty and this many in the moon dynasty. Those who fail become maids and servants. The maids and servants also become kings and queens later, number wise. Those who are uneducated receive a status at the end. Baba explains a lot. But if you don't understand anything, you can ask. Reasoning says, where would someone then take birth? Also, there isn't any less happiness there and they are given great regard. They stay in big palaces. There are huge gardens there. There is no need to build, to build two or three story buildings there because there is a lot of land. There is no lack of money and they have a great interest in constructing buildings just as people here have that interest. When they built New Delhi, they thought it was New Bharat. In fact, heaven is called New Bharat and hell is called Old Bharat. However much any of you want there, you can have it. Even though it would all be according to the drama, the palaces that were built in the previous cycle will be built again. No one else can understand this knowledge. It will sit in the intellects of those who have it in their fortune. You children have to make effort to stay in yoga fully. People on the path of devotion have been staying in yoga with Sri Krishna, but they didn't become the masters of heaven. Now heaven is just in front of you. You know the biography of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul and of Brahma, Vishnu and Sankar. You know how many births Brahma takes. The Father says, you mothers are the ones who open the gates to heaven. All the rest remain in hell. 
only the mothers will uplift everyone we praise god you understand this and then say se baba namaste to you you come and make us into heirs into the masters of heaven namaste to such a se baba children say namaste to the father anyway the father then replies namaste spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father you make me into the heir of a few pennies you make me into the heir of cells and i make you into the heirs of diamonds you make seva your child your heir do you not acha to the sweetest beloved long lost ten now found children love remembrance and good morning namaste salutations to the masters and salutations to the mothers from the mother the father bap dada spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 become an unadulterated traveler to sib baba's home and have your sins burnt away with the power of yoga churn this knowledge and stay in limitless happiness second have the pure desire to be seated on the throne the same as the father and follow the father fully blessing may you be a self sovereign and become a goddess of coolness brackets sitala devi by keeping your physical organs cool and peaceful the children who are self sovereigns cannot be deceived by any of their physical organs when the mischief that causes deception finishes and all your physical organs remain cool you will become a goddess of coolness a goddess of coolness never has anger some say that they do not have anger but that they do have to be a little bossy however bossiness is a progeny of anger where there is some trace of it all of its progeny are created so you are gods and goddesses of coolness and this is why you must not allow any sanskars of anger or bossiness to emerge even in your dreams slogan obedient children are naturally worthy of receiving good wishes and blessings they do not need to ask for blessings slogan obedient children are naturally worthy of receiving good wishes and blessings they do not need to ask for blessings om shanti sweet elevated versions of mati swari ji title is god is the one who shows the path to those who are blind that is to those who do not have the eye of knowledge so the path to those who are blind dear god when people sing the song so the path to those who are blind dear god it implies that it is only god who can show the path and this is why people call out to god when they say god so as the path it is definitely to show the path to human beings that god himself definitely has to come in an incorporeal form and enter a corporeal form it is only then that he would be able to show the path in a physical way he cannot show the path without coming here people who are confused need to be shown the path and this is why they call out to god show the path to those who are blind dear god he is then also called the boatman because he takes us across to the other side that is he takes us beyond this world made of the five elements to the other side he takes us to the sixth element of the great element of constant light so it is only when god comes from that side to this side that he can take us back there so god has to come from his land and this is why he is called the boatman he takes the boats of souls across he will take with him those who have yoga with him those who are left behind will experience punishment from dharmaraj and be liberated later on acha om shanti